Turning a food desert into a foodie hotspot, $30 million to build a food center for budding chefs on the west side. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely explains how it will help them build their businesses. For two years, Westsider Trinissa Williams has run a bakery business out of her West Side home, creating original treats like these cinnamon roll scones in her cramped residential kitchen. But when the $30 million East Garfield Park food incubator opens, called the Hatchery, those days will be over. What opportunity do you see the incubator presenting for you? Oh, definitely the commercial kitchen space. Um, that's one of the hardest parts about starting my business and keeping it going. Um, is not having the funding for a commercial space because it is very expensive. The hatchery will feature 56 commercial kitchens for budding chefs, as well as demonstration kitchens to provide expert training and a food court for marketing their creations to the public. It creates an economic opportunity, an economic engine in the west side of the city of Chicago, linking folks in the west side up to the most one of the most dynamic parts of our economy. I've been here 12 years. I think they kind of consider me the mother of the gardens. Angela Taylor coordinates a network of 32 Garfield Park community gardens. Volunteers producing locally grown kale, collards, fennel, and much, much more. I think this is like awesome. Now to be sold both to food preparers and to the public at the hatchery. This is probably what our real mission is to kind of start developing a food hub here on the west side of Chicago, particularly here in Garfield. The city will contribute $8 million to the project, with the remaining $22 million from private and corporate donors. The hatchery will be built near the Kedzie Green Line station, with the city predicting 150 jobs in the first year and up to 900 jobs over five years. Reporting live from the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Rob? Yeah, it's really going to make Chicago a foodie destination even more so, huh? And something that is such a benefit and a boon to that area. Yeah, no doubt. Derek, thank you.